Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no film, am I right? So I've made some pre-filmed videos before I went on vacation, but then I didn't have any time to edit them. So here I am back, uh, back working, back from my vacation to bring you my August favorites. So without further ado, I do actually have some products to show you. They're not the most exciting favorites video I've ever done, probably, but yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Come on. <laughs> and first of all, my favorite summer fragrance, this summer at least, it's by L'Artisan Parfumeur and it's called Caligna. And this is a very zesty lemony fragrance, but at the same time very um, sophisticated and sheer in a sense. And I really love it. I don't think it's that obvious and it really suits me. And I've been wearing it a lot. As you can see, I also have a mini one that I travel with. Um, that That's my phone. <laughs> that came in a set that I bought. And yeah, I love L'Artisan Parfum. I also wanted to get L'Été Le, Le, en Douce, um, which is also a summer fragrance like the name indicates. But let's see about that. I probably won't get many perfumes on the near future because I have way too many perfumes. That's how it is. Then I spent a week on the beach uh, in, at the south of Portugal and as you can imagine, beach sunscreen, sunscreen, <laughs> because as I've said in my last 5,000 videos, I suffer from rosacea, so I have to be extra careful when exposing myself to the sun. So my face sunscreen has been this one, this is the Biotherma Photoderm AR 50 Plus, so this is a... Um, a sunscreen specifically for people with rosacea it is tinted but it's a very light tint so even the fairest of skin people uh, can pull this off and I love it I think it's very comfortable on the skin I think it helped me a lot with my skin problem and yeah I would forever repurchase this uh, although I do have some other brands to finish around here but uh, with my issue right now, this is the only product on the market that I know of that is specific for redness and for uh, this kind of pro problem. I'm not sure if it has anything that makes it specific though. That's a whole nother story. I uh, will make a review and look at its ingredients in depth and then let you know about that. For my body, also from Biotherma, I love this Photoderm Bronze SPF 50+. Plus. This actually helps you develop a bronze, which is like something I don't have usually. <laughs> and and uh, it's almost finished because I use it and my boyfriend also did. And, and I use it very generously. This quantity for two people for a week at the beach should be finished. Mine is almost, it has like this, this much left, which I use on my arms every morning right now because it's very, very hot right now in Portugal. And I love this sunscreen, I buy it every year, every year I finish a bottle of this, usually. Then, on makeup, as you can imagine, at the beach, I don't wear that much makeup because I'm at the beach, I'm on vacation, that's the point of it, I don't care. But I've been trying to get it a go on this mascara, which is, which is Catrice Glam and Doll Volume Mascara Waterproof. I'm going to show you the wand, which looks like this. This is a very cool um, mascara, it's very affordable because it's Catrice. But um, I think it clumps a bit more than I actually like. I like separation and volume, not that much the, clump, the clumping. but it's decent for, for the price and it's really waterproof so that's always a good plus in that sense. Then on my hair, I've been hair drying my hair, air drying my hair for the last two months since I got it cut basically and I can't be bothered with heating tools on summer because it's literally like 35 degrees in Portugal right now and it's already unbearable to exist without a heating tool near your face 
in the morning so I just discarded that whole idea altogether and I've been using this uh, John Friede freeze array freeze ease you see that thing I told you oh god I'm, I'm the worst John Friede freeze ease dream curl styling spray so uh, this is a spray that you put on wet hair that helps to define your curls without uh, making them crunchy which for me is like essential uh, this doesn't make your curls crunchy at all just defines them a bit it helps condition a bit it has uh, some silicone has glycerin olive oil it has a lot of good stuff I really like this product I like it more than most of my salt sprays because my salt sprays leave my hair um, feeling dry this doesn't uh, but I do have a lot of salt spreads to finish and this one is almost gone But uh, after I finish this one, I'm going to finish all the salt sprays I have which will take me like five years So probably when I finally go and get this again, it will be discontinued <laughs> Yay me! Then and finally For my hair uh, also we have a shampoo and conditioner by L'Oreal which is the Air, hair expertise range uh, and this is the Everich, Everich, Everich. This is in French, but half is in English. It's very confusing for a bilingual person. Um, <laughs> that this is the the line for dry hair, and we have the conditioner, which is this one, and the shampoo. It says that it has botanical oils, camellia, and apricot seed. Um, it's rich as the name suggests the conditioner is very thick it's very emollient i like it i would definitely buy it again i think it was repackaged since i bought it because i've had this on my stock for a while and they're really decent um decent drugstore shampoo and conditioner they're not cheap though they uh if you do the math as per milliliter You'll see they're exactly the same price as something from TG or a more expensive salon brand But they actually do perform quite well, so that doesn't bother me that much So yeah, this were my, these were my favorites for the last month I hope you liked it I hope you like to see me back And I hope you will be watching all the, the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!